Nerves or neural radiance fields is a sort of 3D representation that many people are talking about these days due to its potential to revolutionize how we generate and view 3D graphics. Lumalabs is one of the companies working with this tech and it takes only a single look at a nerve capture to see its potential. Compared to traditional 3D scanning to polygons, nerves retain even the smallest detail of the scanned objects. So things like fur, foliage and even surface reflections are captured much more faithfully. In this short video I'll take you through the process of scanning a virtual environment made in dreams on my PlayStation 5 and converting that video to a NERF using Luma's website. This process should work with any tool that gives you a virtual camera, so you could potentially make NERFs from games or from other creative 3D tools like Minecraft or Roblox. Lastly, I'll give you an example of how that NERF can be used to create new content outside of your source software. I've booted up my PlayStation 5 and I'm in the creative tool Dreams, a 3D modeling package based on a novel 3D engine running on SDFs or assigned distance fields. One of the key developers of the tech driving Dreams, Alex Evans, actually later went on to become a well-known developer in the Nerf space through his work with NVIDIA. Dreams is an incredibly fast tool to build out quick 3D scenes with but there's no way to export the scenes to anything but video and images. And this is where Luma's tools come into play. By recording a video in Dreams in exactly the same way that you would record a real-world video for a Nerf conversion, we can get the 3D content out of Dreams and into either Luma's own renderer or Unreal Engine 5. Here I've loaded up a scene that I've made in Dreams. I can place a virtual camera that I can then use to scan the scene with. Luma works best if you imagine you are scanning an object at the center of your scene. So here I actually place a sphere in my scene while I'm recording the video, and I'll then just hide that sphere once I'm about to export. I found that it usually works best to have a sort of environment around the area I'm scanning, even if it might seem like a good idea to just place your item on a neutral background. This has to do with the depth perception of the tech. Without any foreground and background elements, it's difficult to judge the proportions of the object you're scanning. You also want to avoid things like motion blur, noise, overly strong bloom and too much animation. Once all of these things are in place, we are ready to record our camera scan. And you can go about doing this in several ways. The most straightforward one is to take your normal PlayStation controller, start the action recorder, enter the camera and then hold down the R1 button on your controller while hovering over the sphere. This will allow you to tumble the camera around the object in a controlled fashion using the joystick on your controller. This allows us to do three different angles of capture. One at waist height looking directly ahead, one from a high angle looking down and one from a low angle looking up. If you want even more fine control over the movement of the camera, you can set up a timeline and use keyframes. Or if you're feeling particularly experimental, you could make a camera rig using game logic and dreams to make the camera scan the object. You could even reuse this rig in other scenes as well. Here's the result of the scan. I usually do a few minutes of video in total, but you can experiment with less or more and see what kind of results you're getting. A quick pro tip here is to just go into the action recorder and change the duration of it. This will result in a longer video for the Nerf capture. To get the video out of Dreams, use the built-in share function on your PlayStation. You can use a USB drive to get the video from your PlayStation onto your PC or Mac. Or you can install the PS app on your phone and set that to sync with videos and images captured on your PlayStation. Now head to lumalabs.ai and create a user there. Select create new and upload your video file from Dreams. It takes about half an hour for the system to train your Nerf, depending on the size of your video. Once the Nerf has finished training, you can go in and set up a custom animation there, or you can use the one that Luma makes for you automatically. You even have the option of exporting more traditional 3D models from your Luma scan. Or you can export the Luma file itself and use that directly in Unreal Engine 5. I'll go into more detail about how you can use your Luma file in Unreal Engine in a future tutorial. But here's an example of what that looks like. 
Let me know if this was helpful and let me know if you have any ideas for future content you would like to see about how to utilize nerves in your artwork.